What is up everybody and once again, thank you so much for stopping by at the channel. Do we have yet another busy day today? We have to pull out the large tree right next to my garage with the Duramax. So let's see if she can do it. On top of that, we are unboxing a Pierce dump bed kit for the Dodge Cummins. You guys have to see this. I'm so pumped about it. It finally showed up. And then definitely make sure you watch till the very end of the video because I will be announcing the winners for the wheels and tires as well as the light bars that we're giving away for this month's giveaway. But I definitely appreciate everybody's support for participating in that giveaway. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Check out this right here. We gotta clear this tree because this entire building is going to be torn down here next month. So we have to expand on it, so I have to get rid of this tree. So, sort of sketch today, guys. And we're going to go ahead and attempt to pull it out with the old Dirty Max. I know I should move the Dodge. Let's see if I can rip it out in one yank. Yep, just like I thought, guys. We're good to go. Could have just cut it down, but why when you have a diesel truck, right? It finally arrived. The package just got here. 300 pounds, believe it or not. And it's going to be the conversion kit for the dump bed for the Cummins show truck. So I think I may have explained this before, but this package came from a company called Pierce. Pierce is a company in Texas that actually fabricates these kits. And on top of it, which is really cool, we received a wireless controller for the dump bed kit. I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second. But I have a guy coming over. We're gonna do something with the LMM, so I think you'll be interested in what I'm up to for there. And once I'm done, we'll go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Dude, seriously, I love this about this truck. Please start. Some of you guys are laughing at me, but wow. I have a remote start for my diesel. That is so awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the LMM in the garage today and whatever space I can possibly get up here. Matter of fact, I should just move the frame over in my garage. But what I'm doing today, guys, is I'm actually doing the center console jump seat swap. As a matter of fact, it's a fellow viewer, a fellow subscriber of the channel. He reached out to me and said he has a leather jump seat that he'd be willing to switch out for my center console. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping seats out and stuff like that. Try to get it out of here before he gets here, which I highly doubt, because he'll be here in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip into it right now. Stay tuned. Isn't she pretty though? <laughs> I love this truck, it's beautiful. So biggest reason why I'm doing the center console jump seat swap is because I have four children and we can't all fit in the truck. So if I decide to pull the camper up north, I guess there's just nowhere to sit. So this has to go, very good shape by the way. I'm a little sad to see it go, but like I said, if I can't fit the whole family in here, it's just kind of pointless. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these out right now. It's very simple, really just four bolts to hold these down. And then of course this is all connected right here to that. So unfortunately I gotta pull all these seats out in order to get that thing out of here. And I'm really curious because this is gonna expose a hole right here. I wonder if his truck, there's some sort of cover right here that I can take out of his truck and put it in mine. But we'll know once we get there, right? All right, let's go ahead and get it. By the way guys, I have the airbags on the frame. Looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that this center console idea is probably not gonna work because of all this stuff right here. But one step at a time, guys. If we could fit the jump seat on here, that would be good, but this is kind of hideous. I may have to relocate that and figure out some sort of carpeting issue. But looks like whoever used to own this truck liked to drink and drive. It's crazy though, guys. That literally took me about 10, maybe 10 minutes to pull that center console out. A whole lot easier than the older body style, so that's a plus. Let me give you the verdict really quick. The problem is once I remove it, you're gonna see this right here, which really isn't a big deal because I can maybe buy something that goes over that so you can't see that. 
But in the meantime, I can fit the entire family in the truck, which is our goal. Okay, so here's the box, and I was correct. There's a little sub in there. I wonder if the radio still works, though, because I could do without the sub. Nope, no radio. As you can see, it is installed, looking nice. We can fit everybody in the front seat, which is cool. My only problem is that amp right there. The guy that picked up my center console for me was nice enough to turn around so I can pull that thing out. That thing was so hard to get to inside. But what this is, is the amp. And unfortunately, that controls the radio. <laughs> so I needed that. But here's the other problem. Where am I gonna put it? So I'm smart enough to figure that out. We have this big void right here, which really isn't a huge deal, but I'll just get a big mat, put it right over there. You won't even be able to tell. We're done here. Looks good. I'm happy. We'll figure that out later. Well, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy right here. I'm so excited. Check it out, guys. I just unboxed everything, laid it on the ground. I'll show you exactly what we have here. It's definitely Christmas time for me. What I have laid out here is the entire dump bed kit for a 94 to an 02 Dodge, which is this thing right here. But if you go to their website, they have dump bed kits for basically every make and model from what I looked at anyway. So for some of my Chevy fans, some of my Duramax fans, stuff like that, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check them out. Semi inexpensive, it's really not that expensive to do this. If you guys go on their website, the list price on the dump bed conversion kit is $1,395, so I guess $1,400. Bucks. And also, I wanted to talk really quickly about this. This is a wireless, believe it or not. Matter of fact, this doesn't come with the kit. You have to buy this separately, but the wireless controller is kind of pricey. It's 200 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. But you guys know my style. I told them that I was gonna make a YouTube video on their product, because I wanted to purchase this. And they actually, I asked them if they could help us out here. They actually told me they'll give me a coupon code. So basically, if you guys decide to purchase one of these dump kits for your truck, uh, use my coupon code and it will save you guys some coin. So I'll leave that link in the description. Another cool thing they did is they actually added some banners to the kit. I love banners. Eventually, guys, I plan on getting my entire shop torn down and I want to build a bigger shop here. So uh, a lot of these banners are actually going to go on the wall. You know, I may actually have to check them out. I had no clue that they sold winches. That's pretty sweet. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to their website now and check out their winches because you guys know I need one for the off-road bumper on the Duramax. So anyways, that's the goal right there, okay? The goal here, and of course, we're not gonna do a flatbed conversion. We are literally putting the stock bed back on here. It's an eight foot bed. But the goal here, guys, is once I put the bed on, it's gonna look completely factory. You'll have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen until I use this little controller right here and it picks the bed off. I really think it's gonna be a nice touch, especially if I take it to a truck show or something like that. But this is gonna be the big key right here with this truck right here. I'm gonna be using this, not all the time, but I'm gonna be loading wood. I think most of you guys know this, but wood is my livelihood in the winter. It keeps my house warm, it keeps my water warm, it saves me a ton of money. And since I don't have a dump trailer, and of course those are extremely expensive, as a matter of fact, I was getting one priced out, it was like $7,000, it was incredible. And it wasn't even a big one. Um, instead of doing that, spending the 14, 1500 bucks, and just getting a bed that dumps wood instead of me actually getting a trailer. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to put as much wood in there, but the simplicity of actually being able to dump my wood versus me getting in the bed of the truck is gonna be an absolute lifesaver. That's the biggest reason why I wanted a dump bed conversion kit, and I decided to use the 800 to 1000 horsepower Dodge Cummins because it has an eight foot bed. All my Chevys don't, they're all six and a half foot beds. Just to show you guys here, 1395 was for the kit. From my understanding, Pierce makes it pretty simple. They give you everything that you possibly need to install this kit. Nothing that you need to actually outsource other than the fluid for the reservoir tank, which really isn't that big of a deal. Any parts store will sell that. But it says it right here, with 4,000 pounds of possible lifting strength, which is incredible. That's a lot of weight. So essentially two tons. Um, you can dump it, and it says, I believe it says 40, at a 45 degree angle. I gotta say, guys, I was a little intimidated though, because initially what I wanted to do is just buy the hydraulic cylinder, get my welder out, cut, measure, box in the frame a little bit, you know what I mean? And reinvent the wheel back here in order for the eight foot bed to dump. But instead of using my brain, I can use someone else's, it's already completely done. I went on the internet and I was looking for the best dump kits you can find on the market. As a matter of fact, I was talking to people about it and I kept hearing this name. So I went on their website 
and lo and behold it's all there also this check this out guys this is so cool they call this a granite camo i thought this cooler was sort of unique it kind of looks like a toolbox in a way but um <laughs> it's a granite camo look at this thing man isn't this cool it was on their website i had to get it i don't know guys it's just the little things in life i'm definitely gonna be using this if i go fishing or something like that very very cool basically it it's a very easy system it looks like i don't think that installing this thing is going to give me a whole lot of problems but we always say that before we install something right matter of fact guys i'm definitely painting those i'm just going to go high gloss black on these and the good thing about these right here is it's going to strengthen the frame connected to the hydraulic cylinder so it's going to give me added strength back here and you guys know these dodge frames they definitely need it I have to hand it to the 2500 hd chevy gmc frames because uh these things right here look like a little toy compared to a Silverado frame. Giving it that added strength to this frame is really gonna be crucial. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are definitely gonna do a YouTube video on that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty giddy about this kit right here. I'm really excited about it. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in picking up anything from their website. And also, again, they gave me a coupon code to share with y'all. So check them out seriously if i start to like what i'm seeing here we may do it for another truck who knows in the future so anyways guys that is all the time that i have for today let me know in the comments what you think about this unfortunately i can't install this kit because i don't have the cab on the frame and i'd like to do that i just want to make sure everything is lined up before i start putting parts on there and then of course you know we get to a pickle and then we got to move things but the good thing is this entire kit is all bolt on stuff i know you have to cut a notch right on the end of the frame here i was reading some of the instructions but that's really not that big of a deal because you have to install a hinge and that's exactly how it picks up so anyways guys that is all the time that i have for today i do appreciate everything definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this dump bed conversion kit should i have went another route was it too expensive things like that I want to hear it all, guys, so let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You guys can't miss an episode. We're doing a lot of stuff in this garage, man, so don't miss out. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call the winner for the wheels and tires. I have that name right now. His name is Sean. Oh. Hey, Sean. Hey, it's Truckmaster off YouTube. How's it going? Good. Hey, dude, I'm calling you. Hey, we can house calls now? Yep, I'm calling you because you won the Anthem Wheels. Don't okay. you? Yep, you won it. Congrats, dude. How cool is that? <laughs> I just got the names this morning, and I wanted to, actually, I just got the name, and I wanted to call you personally and let you know. Wow, that's great. So. Yeah, and that's, it's weird to hear, I mean, I, to hear your voice. I mean, I knew who you were when you said you called. Dude, that's awesome, man. I'm pumped. Hey, the good thing is, is you're not too far from the border of Ohio. Right. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna personally take these to you. I saw you purchased a. Let me see here. You got a D. You got a key tag, didn't you? Yeah. Dang, a key tag. That's crazy. March fifth. You have a diesel. I got an old three Ram. Yep. Right on, man. So uh, these wheels and tires are eight by one eighty. So it's your choice. Either I can bring the adapter, wheel spacer adapters, to you, so you can put them on your truck. Um, that there, it's a two inch offset, so it's gonna throw you off a little bit. Um, they're still gonna look sweet though and or you could just keep the wheels and sell them or just keep them for another project, whatever you'd like to do, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll take the wheel spacers. Okay, they look pretty sweet on your truck. <laughs> I think so. So they came off of what? The Wife Max. Oh, man, well congrats. Uh, thanks for participating. Have a good day, hopefully this made your week. Yeah, absolutely, for so. sure. <laughs> All right, boss, you take it easy, thanks. All right, you too, yeah, bye. Bye. So I did take a portion out of that video, just a little clip of it right in the middle where we talked about sort of, you know, the meetup times and all that extra stuff. You don't need to know all that, but congratulations, Sean, man. That is so awesome. We have two more winners for the light bars. So let's go ahead and announce those really quick. I thought it was pretty cool that the guy answered. That phone was ringing for a while. This is why I want your guys' phone numbers when we do these giveaways. It makes it so much easier. And your email in case I can't get a hold of you on the phone. Hello? Hey, is this Matt? Yeah. Hey Matt, hey, this is Josh, Truck Master on YouTube. How's it going? Going good, how are you? Hey, good. Hey, um, I looks like you uh, registered in for one of our giveaways. I want to let you know we just drew the names and you won the 30-inch McTuning bar there. So, just want to oh, give wow. you a heads up. Okay. So. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna, I'm going to announce it on the Saturday video who won everything, but I just want to okay. personally give you a call. Awesome, so. thank you. Hey, no problem, man. All right, guys, last but not least, this person's name is Susan, and she's from Indiana. So let's give her a call and see if she answers. 
I doubt it. But we're already two for three. Yep. Hey, we tried. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, I guess send this person a text, let them know it's Truckmaster and see if they'll call me back. But again guys, thank you so much for all of your support for entering in for all these giveaways. But thanks again for watching till the end of the video. Until next time.